Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first seven commandments, and now it's time for the eighth. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. However, can we keep secrets under the eighth commandment? It may surprise some people to learn that keeping secrets is not necessarily a violation of the Eighth Commandment, or any other. Just because you're keeping certain information secret from certain people, it doesn't follow that you don't respect or care about the truth. What kinds of secrets should be kept? Well, bye. All right, all right. I won't keep it a secret, and neither does the Catechism. The secret of the Sacrament of Reconciliation is sacred and cannot be violated under any pretext. Professional secrets, for example, those of political office holders, soldiers, physicians, and lawyers, or confidential information given under the seal of secrecy, must be kept, save in exceptional cases where keeping the secret is bound to cause very grave harm to the one who confided it, to the one who received it, or to a third party, and where the very grave harm can be avoided only by divulging the truth even if not confided under the seal of secrecy, private information prejudicial to another is not to be divulged without a grave and proportionate reason. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2490, first sentence, and paragraph 2491. In other words, if keeping a secret will cause grave harm, which can only be prevented by revealing it, we should in most cases reveal it. But for the most part, if secret information is given privately to us, we should keep that secret. The question seems to be, why? After all, isn't it better for people to know the truth? Isn't that what God created us for, to know truth himself fully? What purpose could be served by keeping certain truths hidden from certain people? Well, the first problem with revealing secrets to everyone is that often people will hear or understand only part of the secret and make bad judgments based on that part. You might, for example, hear that a man walked into a convenience store and subdued the man on duty there. But unless you also know that the man who walked in was a police officer arresting the man on duty for carjacking, you haven't gotten the full story, and might arrive at the wrong conclusion based on the incomplete evidence. This is also one of the reasons why gossiping and spreading rumors is against the Eighth Commandment in most cases. However, even if the evidence is complete, which is rare, the reaction to it might still cause serious harm. Like, for example, a Nazi asking you if you're hiding any Jews in your house. If he learned the full and complete truth, you can bet it would lead to serious harm. However, it's not just the consequences that make it important to keep secrets. Truthfulness keeps to the just mean between what ought to be expressed and what ought to be kept secret. It entails honesty and discretion. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2469, third sentence. The long and short of it is this. When a person gives secret information to someone confidentially, they expect the information to stay secret. To reveal the information recklessly is to betray the person who gave the secret information. And like all forms of betrayal, it violates the Eighth Commandment because in refusing to keep that secret, you're actually being more dishonest than if you had agreed to keep it. You're proving that you can't be trusted, and that's the opposite of living in truth, as we're called to do. This is at its worst when a secret is confided to you specifically, because in that case you're actually breaking your word, giving a witness to the person who confided the secret which is false and will work against them. That's why keeping secrets is not only allowed, but necessary in order for us to honor the Eighth Commandment. Next time, what kinds of false witness are there? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.